Hello, in this World of Warplanes video we are going to be having two games in the DO17Z7 which you might remember was a gift heavy fighter from a while back which, well it sits at tier 3 and... well yeah, I actually probably prefer this to the Fuck War 57 I didn't like the FW57 much and the Dornier 17 is basically the same aircraft but a bit more manoeuvrable in exchange for having a bit less firepower uh, what's happening here is that I'm actually trying to look over there for enemy aircraft but my right mouse button didn't want to work very well that day so it keeps flicking back to looking straight ahead and I got that sorted, it lasted for like an hour there's just something jammed under it so I had to clean my mouse a bit but anyway, spotted the enemy team there's only really one enemy aircraft that can threaten me which is the Focke-Wulf 159 but I decided to go for the AO-192 first, since it's the highest enemy aircraft, and it's quite a big threat to the rest of my team, if not to me. But I'm quite happy to go head-on with it, and actually I got lucky there, because I think it started to stall and couldn't keep its nose up at me. So I do a lot of damage to it, and it doesn't do much at all to me. So I come around and I see the Focke Wolf 159, and since, well, you see it's pitching its nose up to me, so I figure we'll go head-on with it do some damage but it rolls away and well I'm sorry Mr. Goldfinch but you're right in front of me and now you're dead and that even up, evens up the score we've both lost a tier 1 aircraft actually no we're winning well 2-1 to one. I'm coming back around see the AO192 and figure I can knock that one out of the game pretty quickly here there's no kill number 2 Focke Wolf 159 goes underneath me and my tail gonna put a little bit of damage to it. And I pitch up and around again. And fortunately for me, the Focke Wolf 159's engage that XP31 and they're just gonna be turning circles around each other for a while. Which allows me lots of opportunities to put a bit of fire in here. And just like that I removed 40% of the Focke Wolf 159's health. And now I'm coming up and around again. This isn't actually the way I recommend flying the Dornier 17, because you lose a lot of energy and climbs in this aircraft. But, well, it's working all right for me so far. I come down a bit steep there and don't really got to get a good burst in. But it's down to 6% of its hit points. And again, up and over. Looks like I'll have a better angle this time. And there's kill number three, and that's the game. Uh, three aircraft destroyed, a thousand experience, so that's all pretty good, but let's get into the next game. This one's a bit bigger, a five aside, I say a bit bigger, one aircraft extra on each team. And it's a bit more competitive because the enemy team has two tier three fighters. Well, we have myself and a Willaway as our two tier threes, which I reckon gives the enemy team a bit of an edge. The A5M is a very good aircraft on the enemy team, and the Focke 57 can also be very effective if it's flown correctly. But we get a bit lucky at the start here, in that we spot an enemy P23 off by itself, which means that basically our whole team gangs up on it at the start, and we get an easy lead. Fortunately, I don't quite quick kill it as quickly as I would like, but this will die eventually. I decide to stay up high because. P-23 is no real threat, and I wouldn't want the A-5M or the Focke 57 to essentially ambush all of my low-flying allies. So I'll stay up here to act as a deterrent, and also to, you know, intercept and put some damage in if it does. And it looks like we're finally getting some damage on the P-23 there. Unfortunately for us, the enemy Focke 57 is actually bombing ground targets at the other end of the map, so we can probably won't see that one for a while. But the rest of the enemy team's not spotted. Okay, here they come. There's the A5M, and I think that's the AO192. So I was going to do a split test down to the tail of the AO192, um, but then I decide I'm not really going to have a good shot at it because I'm coming in way too steeply here. So I switch to the A5M, and I think about going for the Heinkel 51, which is just coming into the fight now. But go back to the A5M. But it rolls and avoids, well, all of my shots. In other words, I just missed. So I have to come around for another pass. 
This is AR192, which is engaged in a turn fight. Generally not the best way to use it, but it probably can't actually outrun run the Wirray anyway. I'm able to put a big long burst into it and I set it on fire. And, well, it's down on very low hit points now. But aircraft shooting at me, the Hardcore 51 and the A5M. At this point the enemy teams actually managed to take the lead back. So I was actually quite happy just leading these two aircraft away from the fight, especially seeing how much damage my tail gun is doing to the A5M there. And now I'm coming around and I'm not sure if it actually stalled out there or not, but if it did stall out it's recovered enough energy by this point that it's able to dodge most of my shots pretty effectively, but I do put some more in. Go for the Heiko 51 because it allows me to keep my speed up and do a bit of damage. I get an assist on the AR-192 there. But um, other than that burst on the AR-192, I'm not doing that well. The A5M is just a bit too maneuverable for me to keep my guns on target. And here again, I'm firing away. I miss them all because it turns too tight. It turns much tighter than I can keep my guns on target. And I could see that it was going to turn onto my tail. So I just pitch down, try and pick up speed, and put separation between us. And when we're about 500 meters away, I start pulling up into a climb, trying to hope it to get us a stall. But, well, the Focke 57 is coming down on me. It's finally managed to arrive. So I have to climb up and over it to try and get behind it. Uh, fortunately for me, the A5M had actually turned off me then, otherwise it would have had a very good opportunity to kill me right now. I'm able to get on the tail of the Focke 57 and put in a fair bit of damage here. But at the moment it's a 3 on 2, there's only myself and the TSH-2 left. TSH-2 managed to kill the A5M and I didn't realise we were actually that close. It almost rammed it. I did shoot it though. But I did a fair bit of damage to the Heinkel 51, which I now don't think is a threat since... Um, well, I essentially think that either myself or the TSH-2, our tail gunners, are strong enough to just kill it quite easily, so I'm focusing on the Focke 57. I come around, put a burst in, and start turning, but it just flies straight into my tail and manages to wreck me, and unfortunately it survives that. Heinkel 51 is killed by the tail gunner of the TSH-2, and the Focke 57 goes head-on with the TSH-2. Uh, don't go head-on with ground attack aircraft. And we manage to survive and win by six hit points. Which, well, it's pretty good. But you see, I've got no kills, four assists. I didn't actually shoot that accurately, but I did a fair bit of damage. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.